Hello, Sim Victor. Hello, Northern Lion. Happy Friday to you, sir. Thank you, and happy Friday to you as well. Here we I are. I believe this is possibly either I go up by two or we are tied for the week. One of the two. Overall. One of the two for sure. Yeah, the week will not end in a tie in all likelihood, but overall, maybe. Either way, it's very simple. You want to win. <laughs> yeah. who, who, wants, who wants it more? That's, a that's win. The, that's the competitive spirit. A win will always put you in a favorable position. Well, without further ado, three, two, one, good luck. Good luck. Have fun. And have fun to you as well. Here we go. In your favorite continent, as always. Pop, possibly favorite country. Mm. Big up to my Argentinian peeps out there. This looks a little, well, I don't know. You, you might be right for all I know. <laughs> it looks a little dry for for Argentina. Oh, you tell me, you tell me, Argentina is not is not uh, not dry at all. Although the sign definitely kind of leads me away from that, but. Yeah, maybe not. Los Colorados is kind of really makes you oh, think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. <laughs> so we're probably um, New Mexico or Old Mexico, I suppose. Or classic Mexico. Mm. Mexico Forget Zero. That. Yeah. I have a. There's for some reason I don't know why I don't know how I developed this this habit of needing to like. Just be happy by eating a pizza sometimes. But I whenever that. I need a whenever I need a mental pick me up, I'll order like I'll go get like a Domino's pizza and throw on like what's what's widely considered to be a bad sci fi flick and okay. I enjoy the like, heck out of it. Oh yeah, like so you you pick a different movie every time. The guilty pleasure. Yeah, I mean I, like I'll I'll go from I'll hop movies and movies like but like I'll sometimes put like the like Independence Day and then right. like if I'm really feeling spicy, I go for the, like Independence Day resurgence, or whatever the heck. Oh the, yeah, the new one the, was called Chris Hemsworth, Liam Hemsworth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, he, wait, is he Jeff Goldblum's in that? Yes, he's in the sequel. Yes, he is. No he's Will the Smith lead though. Actor. No Will Smith. No, no, no. They got some generic not Smith. How do they explain Will Smith's absence? It is his son. Ah. Uh... But Vivica A. Fox is in that movie, and uh, I, I don't think people get mad if I spoil the 2015 <laughs> update. Whatever, it is whatever universally came. reviled, I would say. So I imagine that anybody that was like, I'm going to care about that plot has already seen it. I, I give get, you the pass. She does get yeeted very early on mm. in the movie in a pretty like awful way. I, I, I mean, in like a tragic way. Because, like, her son sees her get mm. eaten. She probably had another project. Yeah, yeah. But luckily, it's not like a it's not a gory death or anything, although that would have been really cool. But it's kind of like, wow, they just, I guess they just needed to budget out a couple of scenes with her and then just tell her to take a hike. She, she had a pretty major, like, she had a pretty major character in the first one. She killed by aliens in the in the second one? She is killed by a collapsing building. Uh, but that was hit by one. Of, she must have been inside of like uh, the Senate no, she building. The, she was on the. She was on a skyscraper waiting to get rescued by a helicopter with. And her. Don't ask me how the physics work on this or the, or the aero, science. But her son is a fighter pilot, and <laughs> he uh, he happens to be there and slows down just long enough to see his mom not get to the helicopter jump in time, and then she collapses from the. Like the building collapses while she's on the ceiling, and she doesn't make the helicopter. She's on the ceiling or the roof, because this will on the on on the roof. Sorry. Okay, because if on she was roof. on the ceiling, dude, that's some that's some hereditary <laughs> stuff. I, I meant I, I meant the I meant the roof. She's on the very top of the skyscraper outside. Okay, waiting to be picked up at the helipad, and she's the last one. Of course, she sacrifices herself right. to make sure someone else and like, yada yada yada. <laughs> uh, but I, like I put my myself in the in the shoes of her son. Like man, that's got to be the worst timing. To just be there. Did know? the building collapse due to uh, an alien attack? Yes, of course it did. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was just matter with you, bro. Um, well, what uh, what happened to you? I got ninety eight points. You did. I thought we were in Mexico. I even said my Argentinian beeps. Yeah, but I was like, it's not Argentina. It's Mexico. <laughs> the sign looks Mexican. Well, you put yourself in a little bit of a how'd you do? Hole to start How'd off you do with? on that one? 
45, 44. That's pretty good. I got 98. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's what's the plot of Mission Impossible 2? But first, let me guess. Mission Impossible 2? Sorry. Um, Independence, Independence Day Resurgence. Yeah. Okay. So like they blew up the alien mothership at the end. Yep. Um, but yep. it, it before it blew up, it got to send another message back to... Um, wherever it's from, like the moon or whatever. And then right. um, it took, and this is how they explain the length of time between the sequels and why everyone has aged so much as well. It took them that long, you know, like 11 years or whatever, like so 21 years. Travel. Yeah, yeah. To, to travel that far. Um, yeah. And But they're back and they're way more uh, upset now because like the originally what they had sent out, we thought it was an invasion, but it was actually just like an expeditionary force but now they're back with like their real firepower, and they got Norden antivirus, so you can't just hit them with the with malware nice, I like again. It. I like it. All right, but how how close this, am I? This times it's personal. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're you're somewhat close. Like the basically they the mothership that was in Independence Day One wasn't a mothership. Oh, it was yeah. just like a it was just like a. It, it was like a maybe like a champion mob. Okay, you know, like it wasn't the boss. And then the and then they the, the aliens get like they get really mad because like they needed the resources or something and then like they've got to go to Earth and then get this they extract planets cores as okay. for energy for energy that's yeah scientifically uh, possible well they're and, aliens uh, you know they don't play by the rules no yeah. peace no peace <laughs> and then uh, you know they uh, yeah it's a again it's a it's a guilty pleasure of mine but I like watching what would be considered bad sci-fi movies when I'm, when I'm just needing a boost. And for some reason I've, that's always been synonymous with eating a pizza. Like if I'm sick or whatever, or like, cause I was recovering from surgery. So. Oh yeah. That makes sense. But, but I wasn't watching independence day. The The whole point of this was that I was watching, uh, I was watching King of the monsters again. Ah, um, yeah. Cause we mentioned, uh, we mentioned, we didn't, well, you mentioned some, uh, something close to Godzilla. And I was like, yeah, this, I, lo I love me some Godzilla. I, I know that, I know that people don't like King of the monsters, but, I don't know. That's the newest like one, it. right? Yeah, the newest one. I yeah. saw like non, half of that. The non Brian Cranston. It, it's a bad movie, like straight up. Like the character, like it's a great Godzilla movie, but it's a horrible, horrible, like character movie. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed. And I, I was surprised that the guy, the guy who was in Cabin in the Woods, played the most annoying character in the entire film. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of the, I don't know the male cast of that movie. I know. Um, well, Ken Watanabe is in it. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, other other than the actual good actor. And yeah, the, the one with some acclaim. And then uh, yeah. uh, Millie Bobby Brown, a.k.a. Eleven from yep. uh, in Stranger there. Things. Yeah, That's all I got, though. And uh, oh, I, forget her, I forget her name. She was in... Uh, she was in... I thought you were going to say Shrek. No, she was, she was in, I think... She was the lead female actress who played Leonardo DiCaprio and Matt Damon's. Oh, Avengers. Vera Farmiga from uh, The Departed and Up in the Air. The, the Departed, yeah, 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 yeah. She is. She is indeed in that. Yeah. Oh, and Charles Dance. How can I forget Charles Dance? I might not have ever gotten to the Charles Dance portion. Yeah, Charles Dance and Charles Dance is probably the best part of the movie, other than Godzilla, because he he is he's literally they just went Sir Charles, please just play Taiwan, except don't make any Game of Thrones references. That's that's literally all. he even says he he says long live the king. Wow, we were both way off on that. Well, not way off, but he got me by three. Oh, thank God! Me. Started moving in the right direction. <laughs> I put us in the tri-state area again, as you probably were mm -hmm. expecting. It was very low intel on that one for sure. Yeah, I saw the city names, but that was about it. I mean, by our standards, it's low intel. This one, this one is weird, right? I wouldn't say weird, but it seems familiar. <laughs> you see how nice the highway is, though. Yeah, it's like, very what, pristine. That's... Oh wow, it goes it goes super sunny all of a sudden, dude. Like that's beautiful. I'm very wow. resentful of the state of our infrastructure in North America. I mean, you we... do notice that. The bot, like, there's not a whole lot of cracks or anything in the asphalt. Yeah, like I mean, not that I would expect to see that, but I'm just saying, like, it's it stands out because we are so used to seeing that in our country. 
I, I mean, I hear that for sure. Canada, I don't know south. if it's any better on, uh, you in know, the, on it, that stuff. In the south, we, we get a, we get a lot of cracked asphalt and, and potholes and stuff that get covered up. I'm just, I'm freaking out on this one. Because, like, I, if... I feel like I got it, but it's, like, a little weird. I gave it to you at the start, I thought. But... That's probably one of those things I probably shouldn't have said. No, no, no. I mean, I, I've seen seen some very valuable intel, but I'm like, I'm I'm not sure how to parse it. I guess. I think I'm in the. I don't think I'm in the right country based on the based on this. The road I mean, sign. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm in the same boat there. I'm like. I'm I'm with you on that we, one. We know the we know the location, the the relative area. Yeah, we're in the tri-state area. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I said, so I was like, oh, it's it's pretty familiar, almost as if we just got here. Mm. But yeah, I see stuff like this, and I'm like, man, why doesn't my country have pristine roads like this? Yeah. And I, I, people might be like, I don't know. The answer is like, you know, tax. But I don't know. I feel like we're we're paying as much tax as they're as they're paying in Hungary or you know the Czech Republic or wherever we are here. What do you think that which country? Okay, which country do you think has the highest? I, I mean, number one highest tax rate. That's of a them great all. question. Um, Just if, if you had to if you had to guess, because I'm sure it's probably easily Googleable. I would assume that it is a, a Nordic country. Um, like Norway. Yeah. Outside of a situation, and I don't know, like, if there's still governments out there where, like, literally, you know, you don't make money. You just get, like, a stipend from the government in exchange for your labor. Yeah. Um, then, like, that would be, I guess, the technical guess. But, uh, yeah, I would assume, I, I would probably say Norway. Okay. I was going to say something like... Probably like if not if not Norway or Sweden, then I would think it would be something. I, I'm I'm not gonna say Germany, but um, where am I thinking of now? Uh, Luxembourg. Luxembourg, yeah. I think Luxembourg is like I was originally thinking that, but I think it's the opposite. I think really? Luxembourg is like a, a bit of a tax haven, where where mm. people move there to pay less tax, maybe, but or less corporate tax. Highest tax rate in the world. Oh, so, man. according to Trading Economics, Sweden with a 57.2% effective tax rate, Japan with a 55.95, then Denmark and Austria are both at uh, about 50, 55, 56. I'm glad that my first initial thought was number one. <laughs> well, actually, uh, now that I open the page, it's like the Ivory Coast is number one with 60%. Jesus. Did you know that, like, uh, oh, by the way, did you, you guessed? I did guess. You got me by 100 and. We're moving in the right direction. Still got a little, a little to make up. Um, whoa. Kitties this, mean. They, they, it's so scary, dude. Why do they say kitties? That's All such, a, that's such <laughs> an English way to say it. All tokens, one euro, kitties meals, only two ninety nine. Look at this cursed sign, man. That's amazing. And what is this uneven castle on top of a on top of a light pole? This must be like some kind of very strange arcade. But we, uh, we got to be in either Scotland or Ireland. This is oh, I think this is uniquely English. We are cursed. <laughs> this is something's here. not right here. This they're making a Netflix true crime documentary about that <laughs> arcade right now. <laughs> it was supposed to be a place of fun and games. The Bayview Lodge. <laughs> Those fun and games Where turned to terror. One day in 1991. And then Tina's tot's nail coil <laughs> Tina was taken by the monster. But I'm like, I, did you know in the UK in uh, the 1960s? And you feel free to fact check me on this one because it might be wrong, but this is what I read online. That okay. the, the highest income tax bracket uh, was seventy percent, like seventy. Seven, and I I do believe Jeez. that it only applied if you were like 
very rich, which is why the Beatles ended up moving to the U.S., supposedly, at least. But Holy moly, man. I think there's, and, and again, I'm not uh, the kind of guy to get into this discussion. It's definitely a hot issue. But I feel like there's something, like, psychological. Like, 49.9, I'm like, no problem, doing my part. 50.0, right. I'm like, no problem, doing my part. 50.0001, I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> this is America? I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Down the middle, okay. <laughs> Leaving me with a slightly smaller piece of the cookie that I feel like I baked without assistance, whether or not that's actually true. <laughs> I've long been a proponent as well that I think I personally should pay low or no tax. And here's my reasoning. my Most of my income is essentially pilfered from your country. So I don't understand uh, what right the Canadian government has to to tax me when basically it's just a net positive that is entering into the economy one way or the other. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to just let you be the <laughs> only commenting on that because I do not live in Canada and I cannot say that I know enough about it to make such a, such a claim. I'm just saying makes sense to me. This is only guess four. I thought it was guess five, man. You wish I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm at 1373 right now. Yeah, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> I'm at, at 9,055. It's not out of reach. It's not technically not, over, no. Yeah, not trying to patronize. It's not it's not, pa it's not patronizing yet, for sure. This this one here is interesting because I don't have a whole lot of, like... Like, I haven't seen a city name at all. Mm. But I'm, I'm at this point, I'm going off of geography okay. here. Which sounds stupid, I know, but like it's well, I'm using I'm using what I see in, in instead of like seeing instead of like looking at like signs and stuff. Like not taking human interaction into account here for this guess. Yeah, okay. I, so I understand. probably should. Now that I'm now that I'm in the city proper. Uh he thinks this is a city. <laughs> I got five seconds left. Just send it. I got three seconds left. You know, I'm just going to leave it there. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this is right. It was not right at all. You got me by... Uh, I even said we were in Ireland. Ireland. I didn't put myself there. I went I went on the opposite end because I was at the... I was near the English Channel. Oh, really? So you, got <laughs> me by, you got me by 1,300. Hey. Quig not, there's Quigley's over. point. <laughs> I should have known. It's It's not over. It's technically not over. And this is definitely a spicy one here. I and mean, what's your score? Sixteen four sixty six. Okay, you're about twenty eight hundred up on me. So it would still require a pretty, pretty big swing. But we do appear to be in the middle of the rainforest. I have seen a flag, which does help a whole oh, lot. Oh, he has seen a flag. Well, I have not seen a flag, and I am guessing. Based on, well, I've seen something that's uh, about as good as a flag, I think. Okay. Any language? Uh, yeah. This got me a little perturbed. <laughs> don't, I don't think I'm going to be making up uh, 3,300 on this one in all likelihood, but... Do you know the country? I don't, but I could narrow it down. Okay. Unless I'm getting, it's possible I could be getting bamboozled here. What? The, the Southeast Asia has a tendency to put multiple flags. I mean, they're, in a way, they're kind of like uh, they're kind of like um, uh, North South America, which mm. sounds weird. Yeah, to say, I understand. You know what I mean? Though? Like how they put the they cluster like a bunch of the flags together, like you know, for national pride and stuff. And it's like, dude, that's great and all, but you're making you guess are a lot harder. You're making the game impossible. Yeah. You could stop having a bunch of national pride in in uh, lieu of us in our very minor YouTube series. It's very I appreciate it. It's it's illegal to display a flag unless it's the flag of the country you're currently in. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it, it cancels out, and that's a 15 yard penalty. Time travelers would get confused. Yeah, I don't know why. Think of now the, that I think about it. <laughs> think of the GeoGuessr players. <laughs> 
like the most influencer thing that you could you could say. Yeah, could you stop displaying the flag, please? I'm trying to record a YouTube video. <laughs> well, there was all the people that. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if you saw the videos, but like when looting was happening during the protests, they would like drive up and then get out and have like their boyfriend or their girlfriend take like a photo of them next to some broken windows and then like look at it on the camera and then get back in the car. I I did not, thankfully, but that doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah. Or like they would because people were also volunteering to like put the like re uh well, I don't know, like spray paint, graffiti, not spray paint, but clean graffiti off the walls and windows and stuff like that. Some, and I'm not saying it's a majority of people at all, but there were some videos of people that would like go up and like ask someone to borrow the cleaning stuff and then clean for like a second while they were filmed and then just give the stuff back and then <laughs> post it on their socials. Yes. Just, just true Including. narcissism. Including. They're just the worst. It's fine. That's why I don't like. I mean, I know that we're we're living in influencer society and everything right now, but like, I I I hate being associated with the term influencer because it's it's not, it's yeah, not accurate. I hate all the terms. Well, I, yeah. I mean, I don't mind content creator, I guess, but like YouTube gamer is like it sends a chill down my spine. Yeah, they're gonna be like, I mean, oh, con you... even content creator has that tinge of of negativity for me because I'm just like, what like what is content? Like you can have mm. a kid. You can have a kid film himself, throw a ball through a window, and say, like, sure, comment, subscribe, yeah. and that's a content creator. You know what I mean? But, like, influencer is definitely, like, it sounds like somebody who is high on their own farts, for sure. Yeah, in influencer sounds like, hey, you know, how come you didn't give me this free hotel when I came here? I'm giving you exposure. I've got 2,000 Instagram followers. Yeah. I got you by 200. That's, dude, that's a great guess. 225. Then. Well, I found I saw a sign that it said the Burr Ram sugar cane, whatever. Of course, yeah. And I just uh, I just found Burr Burr Uri Ram. <laughs> well, you you got me. I, would, I kept it a little bit close was, until the end. I was worried. This. I honestly was worried after the after the first bomb. I was like, you know, I can't get too complacent. That <laughs> I did get ninety eight on the first guess, which is pretty. <laughs> that, that, when you're in the wrong hemisphere, that's like a bad <laughs> sign. But it was still it was a good week of Geo. It was good to be back. Of course, we appreciate yeah. your support. If you guys enjoyed it, click the like button. No matter who you're watching, it helps out a great deal. You can watch both of us at the same time using the view sync link available on my subreddit or Savicta subreddit. Uh, thanks for your support, and we'll see you on Monday. Yeah, thanks for supporting the series, everyone. We appreciate it. Sorry about the absence. And uh, GG's. We'll see you next week. Later.